Hey everybody, I'm East Coast Pete. Welcome to my show. Who named that band? Today we're going to look at Darwin's Radio. So, what or who is Darwin's Radio and why do they call themselves that? They are a four-piece prog band out of, you guessed it, England. Powerful melodic rock, thoughtful lyrics, and surprising tempo changes. Their debut album, Eyes of the World, released in 2006, was written, performed, arranged, and produced by Mark Westworth on keyboards, Deck Burke on vocals and guitar, Sean Spear on bass, and David Pan Kirkhurst. On drums. Deck and Tim Churchman played in the Spirit of Rush. It's a tribute band for Spirit. No, just kidding. It's Rush. Mark Westworth and Sean Spear were from Grey Lady Down, another neo prog group. Eyes of the World is getting great notices from the Prague community. It takes a village. 2007 saw tours supporting Frost, Asterisk, and Pendragon, and at the Summer's End Fest with the Flower Kings, Darwin draws inspiration from the early evolution of Prague with Genesis and Rush, as well as current Prague bands Porcupine Tree, Dream Theater, and Muse. 2009 saw Template for a Generation with even better reviews and sales. There's also an EP titled Pictures. The complaint department chimes in with too much distortion on the guitars and feedback on every song, but I doubt it. And the super long burning finishes could do with a fade out every now and then. And the band is a little too similar to IQ, which is a little too similar to Genesis. That is, of course, Gabriel's genesis. Darwin's camera did not evolve past the two and a half albums. What are they doing now? Perhaps on the cruise to Galliope, I think I meant to say on the cruise to the Galapagos Islands. A band tour on an ocean liner and stop off at Galapagos Islands because you know that's what Darwin did. Remember, you know, heard about that theory of evolution? You know, here's a short review on some of their work. One, the illusion is freedom. Long epic song could have been two songs. Epic build-ups, musical flawlessness, Dex vocals are a bit too strained, virtuoso arrangement though. Now if you listen closely, there are sounds that are reminiscent of Neil Morse. Two, breathe it in, heavy hooks, heavy lifting. More confident vocals, the overall industrial sound, it clocks in at a mere 11 minutes. Lots of feedback, if you like yourself some feedback. And I do like myself some feedback, if there's any question about that. Three, The Age of Broken Reason. It's a really good song, lots of Mellotron. If you like porcupine trees anesthetize, you will like this. More intense than Grey Lady Down. The distorted riffs are missing on this one. See, I told ya. 
template for a generation has three songs similar to Relayer by Yes. Yeah, that's a great album. The Illusion is Freedom tracks in it 19 minutes. It's a piano driven epic number. There's a story behind the name of the band. I guess you'd like to know what that is. But I can't tell you. Because I haven't been able to find out. Most of the comments seem to say it's a cool name, but ask if there was such a thing as radio in Darwin's era. I'm going to go with yes. Darwin was already old when Thomas Edison and Marconi changed our world, just like Darwin did and is still doing. That's my theory. If anybody wants to look into that a little more, you are welcome to try. Thanks for being with me on Who Named That Band? See you next time. <laughs>